everyone. Welcome back to Michelle's Medicinal Marijuana. Cannabis has filled the news for the first three weeks of 2008. And the first agenda on my list of things to tell you about is the BC3 are still in jeopardy and we need your help. I realize there has been various news reports that you may have heard or seen for the past week that have reported on a deal, a proposed deal. This has not been signed. The deal did not include Greg Williams or myself, Michelle Rainey. We are still in jeopardy, and it's vitally important that all of you help us. The U.S. government wants to put Mark Emery away, myself away, and Greg Williams, and it is imperative, imperative that you oppose this. You need to call the Justice Minister. You need to send letters on behalf of the BC3. Here is the list of things you can do to help us that is online. We will give you the coordinates. Noextradition.net. Call the Justice Minister. Tell him you are ashamed, absolutely ashamed, of your government and its policies in regards to cannabis prohibition. We need your help. No one should suffer a jail term for cannabis. Absolutely no one. And America, did you know that seeds are still safely being sold in your country and worldwide and no one has died? Are you aware of that? My goodness. A couple of weeks after the raid in 2005 July, this great magazine called High Times put out Seed Guide 2006. And inside gives you all the advertisements for various seed companies throughout the world. This is fantastic. My goodness, here's another one. The current edition of High Times, world's best pot, seeds, seeds for sale all over the world. The BC3 are not selling seeds. We have not sold seeds, obviously, since the DEA shut down Emory Direct in 2005 but seeds are still safely being sold. Remember this. Canada, the US, Europe, worldwide. Karen Tandy of the DEA made a statement. We call this the political manifesto of proof. And I will read you the bottom line. Karen Tandy says from the DEA, hundreds of thousands of dollars of Emory's illicit profits are known to have been channeled to marijuana legalization groups active in the United States and Canada. Drug legalization lobbyists now have one less pot of money to rely on. This is political. This is a sovereignty situation. World, get active. Marijuana is a medicine. Cannabis is a medicine. There are no victims here. This is a victimless crime. We all are well aware of that. There are victims every day in regards to pharmaceuticals, in regards to alcohol, tobacco, fast food, sex, the list goes on. Please, please start writing those letters, make those phone calls, talk to your neighbors, talk to whoever you can, and let's change these laws. Let's tax it, let's legalize it. Let's start saving some lives. This is a victimless crime. Now our hearing has been adjourned. The extradition hearing is now scheduled for the second week of February. We do have to appear in court January 22nd at 9.30 a.m. in Vancouver to go through the formalities of adjournment. And Mark Emery has called a press conference at 10 a.m. for that day. You all are welcome to come join us peacefully, respectfully please, and support the BC3. In other news, and there's so much other news going on, a group of medicinal patients in Canada, licensed exemptees like myself, took Health Canada to court recently, and now Health Canada will no longer have the mar marijuana monopoly in this country. Sadly, for the past few years, designated producers were only allowed to provide for one patient, only one. 
Now that law has been changed, designated producers can provide for more than one. Thankfully, this has happened. Patients need choice. We all need choice. Health Canada and the medical marijuana program with Prairie Plant Systems and Canasat sadly can only offer one to two strains. We're very grateful that they can offer this. Believe me, wonderful that people do have access. But more strains are needed. Every individual patient has individual needs. With Crohn's disease, like I have, inflammatory bowel disease, which yes, does affect one in 300 now, I need a strain that will alleviate my nausea, my pain, and enable me to eat. This is a very painful disease. My doctor had told my mother when I was 17 years old that I would not live till 30. Well world, I'm 36 and I'm still alive and it's because of cannabis. I have been drug free, prescription free, surgery free for now since 1996. And this is 2008 people, 2008. It is very important that we as patients have choice. MS patients, cancer patients, all varieties of illnesses, diseases, depression, we all need different strains. And a variety is very important. And I want to thank all those patients back in Ontario and the lawyers and the activists that helped provide the necessary funds to win this case and the work that was done. Thank you all very, very much. And good luck to all those designated producers out there. You keep producing healthy, clean medicine. We need it. Very important. Right now, Health Canada has about 2,200 licensed patients like myself. 2,200. That pales in comparison to what California has. California has 300,000 card-carrying members in Compassion Clubs. Not only Compassion Clubs, the card-carrying members to produce a couple of plants for themselves safely in their home or in their yard. Why do we only have 2,200? Canada is not producing more cannabis than anybody else. California is not doing too badly if they've got 300,000 people that are licensed. Come on, world. This is insanity. We need to end cannabis prohibition. A dear friend of mine recently came to me who is a corporate lawyer, about 55 years old, vegetarian, in perfect health, absolutely perfect health. There's nothing wrong with him. He had a terrible skiing accident a few weeks ago and broke two vertebrae in his back. And of course, he has been prescribed Oxycontin and morphine. He's come to me over the past week begging for help to get a legal exemption so that he can possess cannabis to treat himself. He has had colleagues through the years that have been addicted to Oxycontin, to morphine, and he is terrified of the same thing happening to him and he wants to control his own health. I am arming him with the proper information he needs to go to his doctor and ask for that exemption. I've told all of you, if you ever need help in Canada with a legal exemption, I will provide you with the necessary documents. I will also arm you with the necessary information to provide your doctor with proof that cannabinoids, THC, marijuana, cannabis, ganja, AIDS in your situation. I have now facilitated 30 exemptions in this country and I am proud of that. I do not charge a dime. I send these off freely with my own heart and soul. Nobody pays Jeff Tech and I to promote the various magazines that I talk about and you know I talk about all these magazines regularly and I'm still going to talk about them. This is an act of love soullessness, being soulful. The world is full of soullessness and it's time that we all give love, compassion and soul. Jeff Tech is dedicated to helping me and I want all of you to know my husband is American. Yes, that's right, my husband is American. I believe in America and I married an American. All of you, we need your help. There are so many people that can benefit from cannabis. 
and I will continue to dedicate myself and my family in doing so, but I still need you to write those letters, call your members of parliament, and get active. The U.S. is about to possibly change their president, and it is a fantastic campaign that has been going on with Ron Paul, yes, Ron Paul, over the past year. I am so pleased to see that there are many different cannabis activists that have decided to promote Ron Paul. This edition of Cannabis Culture has an ad with Ron Paul in the corner. He is willing to end the drug war. He wants to end the drug war. He wants to help people that are cannabis users, the cannabis community. The recent edition of High Times, I love this cover, beautiful pipe, has a full page ad that was paid for by cannabis activists in the world, a full page ad in support of Ron Paul and his dedication to ending the drug war. You have to vote. You have to voice your opinion. I have not stressed this enough and I will stress it even further. We are wasting billions and billions of dollars that can go to education and help. We can make a difference. We can end the wars and we can be compassionate to our citizens and provide proper health care and make sure none of our children are starving. Make sure that we don't have that nasty little secret downtown on the east side with the drug addiction that's going on. Make sure that no one is unnecessarily tasered at an airport. We do not need any more death. Cannabis does not cause death. I'm also very happy to report in Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, a medical clinic is now allowing Crohn's disease patients cancer patients and MS patients to use medicinal cannabis safely and legally in the hospital. This is a victory, an absolute victory. Because when I had my last surgery in 1996, 60 staple stitches, very painful, 14, 15 and a half inches of my small intestine, small intestine removed, I did not need morphine. After four days, I walked out of that hospital so that I could smoke my cannabis with those staple stitches still intact, everybody. Cannabis is what saved me and helped me heal. And if patients are now allowed to use that, please, let's all educate our physicians and our doctors. I can't stress that enough. Another report has come out suggesting that yes, we have educated our doctors. In Canada, a study was done recently asking doctors where they get their information from in regards to medicinal marijuana, medicinal cannabis. Those doctors told our government and Health Canada, it's us patients who are educating them. Again, I cannot stress enough, keep educating the people around you, even if you do not use cannabis, but you know somebody else that does. Talk to your doctor about it. Talk to your community about it. Let's wrap this up. And I'm going to show you a couple of the great magazines that are out right now. Of course, the new edition of Treating Yourself. I'm very proud of this. Do you recognize the cover girl, everyone? Woohoo! There are some fantastic articles in this one. Side effects of Oxycontin, side effects of prednisone, side effects of pharmaceuticals. There are some great recipes, stories by Jeff Tech, of course, Chef Uni, poetry, great addition. If you do not know how to find this, it is at Chapters and Indigo. You can email me. You know how to find me in all the forums and I will make sure you get a copy. I've shown you the new edition of High Times. Cannabis Culture has their new edition out as well. World's Best Pot, High Times. Seat Guide, High Times. Skunk, new edition of Skunk, Multiple MILF Orgy. Jeff Tech is in there too, by the way. Weed World Indoor Grow Special. And all of these magazines safely advertise seed sales. 
I want to thank you all for being my friend. Get active. Happy 2008. Why point out the facts and recite to make a difference? And medical marijuana itself go back to the basis and show them weed helps. Yeah, this song is dedicated to all the med patients. All the people that need their weed to make it through their everyday life. And it's dedicated to Jonathan Magby, paraplegic who lost his life in jail because the judge ain't like the fact that he was smoking weed. Rest in peace, Jonathan. It's from the individuals. Much love.